All right, this lesson is over five number summary. All right, so the last lesson, we took data. Now let's back up, let's back up. First, we, we ended up getting a set of data. We learned some, some basics of statistics, and then we, we, we ended up getting data. We organized it graphically. Then we performed a, um, some calculations, mean, median, mode, range, standard deviation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, again, we're going to organize the data a little bit and it's just be a five-number summary. So let's jump into this. All right, you have what's called quartiles, right? And basically what you're doing, you organize your data numerically. All right, so now let me, let me stop here and say if you have categorical or qualitative data and I ask you or a professor asks you, uh, Give me the five number summary for a categorical data set, all right? You can't do it because it's a five number summary. The only thing that you can, you can, only thing that you can find again for categorical or qualitative data is the mode, all right? So make sure you just, that's, that's, a, that's a little question that can be asked of you just to see if you if you know what you're doing. All right, so back to five number summary. You gotta have quantitative data, and all you do is you organize your data in the parts. You have the lower quartile, which is the lower fourth, all right, the middle quartile, which is your median, which is at 50% mark, lower quartile is 25% mark, upper quartile is your 75% mark. Uh, and it's and it's basically three medians, lower quartile. Now let me let me write here. Uh, you may hit, see that as represented as Q1, um, and then the median. They'll call that median in most places, but that'll be Q sub two, and then upper quartile will be Q sub three. All right. So you may you may see. Definitely Q sub one and Q sub three, but typically uh, the middle quartile they'll they'll label that as as the median. All right, and so what are the five numbers? Okay, now think about numbers have to be in order. You got the lowest, lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile and the highest value, all right? Now, if you've got a data set with all the same values, right, a bunch of tens, then all those numbers will be the same, okay? So don't force, don't force problems to be something uh, that they're not, all right? And so then what we do, we draw, what's, we take the five number summary, and in most cases, you draw a box plot. So it looks like a rectangle. Some call it a, a box and whisker plot. Some call it a box plot. Um, but it looks like that. All right, this is your low. This is Q1. This is your median or Q2, Q3. And then this is your highest value on the right. All right, so they typically all look the same. Uh, now, in some cases, depending on the data set, they may, the, they all may be the same value. So, um, you're just gonna have a single vertical line. Um, if the if you've got a data set that's kind of skewed, uh, Q1 and the median could be the same. The median and Q3 could be the same. It, it just it's gonna vary. So, but this is the the one I just drew. That's your. Uh, I don't want to call it the best case, but that's your typical case. That's what you're looking for. All right, so we've got this data set, and we want to have the five numbers. We want to draw the five numbers or find the five numbers on it. All right, seven's the low, the lower quartile is 7.38, the median is 7.75, upper quartile is 8.13, the high is 9, the standard deviation is. 0.64. Now, and I'll walk you through how I arrived at these steps. All right, first thing we did, 
we added up all our values. Right. We had eight numbers in our data set. So we added up all the values for the movie tickets, I believe. No, what, what students would pay for a meal. So we added up all those values that was 781. All right, again, that's, that's going back to measures of, of, of center, okay? We just want to have that value so we can keep practicing. All right, our lowest value for a meal was $7. Our highest value was $9. And then our median, so I put all the numbers in, in, in order. So our median is halfway in between $7.50 and $8. Again, add those two values. So if you use your calculator and you divide by two, make sure your numerator is in parentheses. Otherwise, your answer will be thrown off. It'll end up being too high. All right, so that's $15.50 divided by two. That's seven seventy-five. All right. And then to find the lower quartile. So let me see if I can change colors. Let's go. All right, our lower quartile, our median is here. So our data set Q1 is halfway in between these values. So you take those values and this will be Q1. Take 725 plus 750, divide by two. Again, you can use parentheses, you get 738. All right, and then if you want upper quartile, you got these four values to the right, and what you do is halfway in between $8 and $8.25, add those guys up, divide by two, you get eight thirteen, and that's how you find, now notice I've got the median, I've got, I've got the median, I've got Q1, I've got Q3, the high and the low, so I can find the range. So I just showed you the low, the high, upper quartile, the median, and the lower quartile. You found the mean just to keep practicing, and we know N is eight, had eight male values. And then standard deviation, again, some technology will help. I've added it here just for practice purposes. All right, and this is how you would do it by hand. You would find each data value minus the uh, average and you square it and you add all these guys up. Let's see if I can. So you take all these values You add all those values together, and then you get 2.86. And you take the square root of 2.86 divided by, now, if your calculator has a square root symbol, use it, and then put your denominator in parentheses, and you get 0 0.64. Now, if you're using a table on your calculator, you just enter your data, it'll find the standard deviation for you. All right, and then this final example, um, you got 20 grades in the stats class, and you do it, follow the same steps, organize your data, uh, and I'll leave it up to you to practice this, uh, and you just take your time, you know, put it in order, make sure you count all your values, make sure you have 20 values, and then you find your, your, your the size of the data set, which is 20. Find your mean, find your low, your Q1 or upper quartile, um, the median, upper quartile, maximum value, and then standard deviation, all right? And then standard deviation could actually be represented as 14.5 uh, to be consistent with rounding to the nearest tenth, all right? so. Practice this last problem, and if you need help, just reach out to